This is the second time recording this after I'd had to take my phone out of the freezer because it stops recording when it gets too hot. Howdy and welcome back to my channel where we start a lot of projects and we never actually finish any. We recently got one of those Roomba S9s and I'm, I'm blown away with the technology. However, there's one drawback. How can this cyclone filtration technology exist for so long and we still have bags in those robots? I set out to research this cyclone technology and kind of how it works and see if I can prototype a concept cyclone adapter that you can insert in, into the S9 base station eliminating any of those bags. So <clears throat> what I've done here is I got some I got some ordinary dirt. I ran it through this uh, a 0.1 millimeter wire mesh. You'll need that because these Dysons are like a two two stage system, right? So as far as I can tell, you got the big stuff and you got the small stuff, right? The big stuff is pretty much anything that doesn't pass through this grill here. And then the small stuff uh, passes through that grill and then goes through the filtration of the separation that the cycle offers. And so I'm going to put the mic down and I'm going to demonstrate <laughs> this prototype here that I've broken already several times. And it takes 11 hours just to print one of the pieces. It does work on this extremely fine dirt. So let's, uh, let's give that a shot now. All right, so you can see here that inside of the Dyson, there is some dirt. Okay, and that is because I think I have a design flaw in the little cups that can catch what falls out of the bottom of the cyclone. I'm gonna set the mic down again, and I'm gonna open up the cyclones. I'm gonna show how much they captured versus how there's basically nothing in here. So as you can see, the, the technology works, right? The cyclone uh, filtration, uh, it definitely it definitely works. Uh, now it's just a matter of cramming it together into a small package that you can then insert into the Roomba base station and it be good enough that it captures the big stuff in the bin and small stuff that you don't need the pre-motor filter. Now that is a monumental challenge and I think maybe only a few companies have been able to solve for it. So am I suggesting that we're going to be able to do that? No, we'll probably still have some type of filter. Maybe we'll use the, the, HIPAA, the HIPAA filters that come with it as the pre-motor filter. But um, the fact that we can separate an enormous amount of fine dust, all of this, less than a tenth of a millimeter, it goes to that wire mesh. We caught it almost, almost perfectly, right? So it's there. The con uh, this is this is the project. I'm going to try and turn it into something, and if it works, I'll throw it out on Thingiverse, and you guys can build it for yourself. Uh, thanks for watching.